Hello everyone, welcome hey back. We're, we're in our lovely sunny organ loft. Um, today is a very, very special day. I know I say that every week, but They're all this, special, is, this, but this is, is very really special. special. Um, this is a look at some of our favourite British perfume houses. Best of British, if you will. The best of British, you know, bangers and mash, fish and chips, yeah, British perfumes. Because we fish. often think of, of France, really, as being... Yeah, European, and also, the the, and then there's a lot of kind of happening in America in terms of Indian yeah, niche. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I think this is pro almost the, People have missed the trick. video about which I've been the most excited. Me too. Because we've got yeah. a couple of kind of old classics, but yeah. we've got lots and lots of new houses who are doing really, really Very exciting things. things. So should we get stuck in? Um, let's get stuck in, and we're going to do some time travel here, aren't we? We're going to go yeah. back a little way. So this is from the house of Floris, founded in 1740, so it's our it's oldest house, so we're starting ago, at the beginning. Really. See, if you... Um, I can't even remember being around then. I'd yeah, it's it very small. Then. But if you go to uh, German Street uh, in, in the centre of London, yeah. there, there's a shop which has got lots of tailors, uh, yeah. a few other kind of places like this. Shirts, ties, barbers. barbers. Yeah. Uh, and this is right out of there. So this is very beautiful. This is Santal by Florist. So as the name suggests, it's sandalwood, but oh, you get so much. I mean, there's such a good kind of quality bergamot to the top. That's of lovely. That. Yeah, it's very fresh and zingy straight away. And there's it? a real beautiful kind of grassiness. So, um, mm. so we're not yeah. just talking about this fragrance. We are talking about the House of Florist. So they are a quite a traditional uh, British house. Yeah. But they've done some really interesting things recently. Honey oud. Honey oud. Which is one yeah. of their really, really popular ones. But I leather. Did, there's a mahon leather. Yeah. I think, some which really, is really some nice. really nice ones. It's also if you ever happen to be in London, it's just a it's a really beautiful shop. It's an experience. It's a really itself. nice uh, yeah. experience going in the shop, and it's not too expensive at all. This is what did I say it was? Eighty. I think this is eighty pounds. Yeah. Um, for for a hundred mil bottle, so it's almost a designer price yeah. uh, for yeah. a fragrance which is niche quality. And you definitely. can get smaller, you can get a fifty mil bottle yeah, 50 for fifty well. something. It's very um, good value. But this is, oh, it's absolutely. As I say, it's called sandalwood. It's not a kind of a heavy, thick, creamy sandalwood. There's a no, brightness no. and a freshness to it. There's also kind of coriander seed. Yeah, um, it's it's very lively, isn't it? it before you get the smoothness of the sandalwood, yeah. it's very lively and zingy. And I get this freshly cut grass kind of quality to it. Oh, yeah. It's a, I love, yeah, I beautiful. really like, I've worn this for a few summer weddings. And it, oh, it just makes me feel, I think it's a really interesting fragrance, but it makes me feel really elegant and really, really classy. Yeah. It makes me feel like James Bond. The man himself? This. Yeah. So. So we have something James, James, James Bond uh, is, is a good segue to what, to what next. So what did James Bond wear? He wore Vodka. Eucharist. Well, he Eucharist. drank one. He, he but drank he, he wore a, fra a, a fragrance called Eucharist from the house of Geo F. Trump. Which is wonderful. Well, at least he did in the, the books, didn't he? Yeah. I think the real James Bond himself probably wore whatever he was wearing between the 60s and now. Yeah. So, but um, we, haven't, we haven't got Eucharist for you, uh, but we have got... Even better. Sandalwood. Uh, from G.O.F. Trumper. So Trumper was, uh, oh, founded in 1875, it says there. And they've ago. got um, two really beautiful uh, barber shops. Yeah. One, on, one on Curzon Street and one off, um, off German Street. There's another one on Street. St. James's. Yeah. Um, really beautiful, you can go and have your hair cut there or a shave. Obviously yeah. I, have, I shave there frequently. Um, <laughs> um, but they're lovely, aren't they? I mean, the wet shaves and things, the hot towel. Yeah, if you have, again, some if you, lime essence that they. If you want to buy a present, present for wonderful. like Father's Day or something like that, it's a Do really, it. really nice. Or Mother's Day if, if there are issues if with you've got a hairy mum or know. something. Um, so, I, I really love the light. Look they're, at that. They're, they're dinky little bottles, but this really is. Um, if you want to try a niche standard fragrance but you don't want to spend a huge amount of money. This is um, 44 pounds for this 50 yeah. ml bottle. Well worth it. And it's, oh, it's so, I've owned this for years and years and this is my second bottle. I get through loads of it. And it's just, it's absolutely, it's, glorious, isn't it? it's, it's stunning. I can't believe. We've both been through two bottles. I don't time. understand how you can make something that smells this good and is this high quality yeah. and it lasts forever. I just, it's not possible. So the one thing you could possibly compare it to, um, would be uh, Egoist by Chanel. Yeah. But I, th I mean, I've got a quite a new bottle of Egoist, mm. and I find this much more interesting. So there's more energy straight away. Yeah. There's a, you're going to also get bright, oily mm. citrus at the beginning. Yeah. So it's not a kind of um, you know toilet cleanery lemon. It's really oily citrus. Yeah. Um, and it's also very it's heady florals as well. Yeah. Well, there's this real carnation and rose at the heart mm. of it. There's some cinnamon to give it a bit of spice. But it's a, it's a really but complex... It feels wonderfully traditional as well, doesn't it? I mean, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. considering this was made in 2012, mm. 
this thing feels print, very, yeah. very traditional. There's a real the old, old school barb shop. Yeah. There's definitely some lavender in there, isn't there as well? But sandalwood from Trumper, check oh, it out. Really wonderful. And creamy. <clears throat> yeah, it's just Usefully creamy. Absolutely beautiful. We like that. So we're skipping forwards a bit. Now for uh, something completely different. Very yeah. strange. Yeah, really, really strange. One so strange. Um, this is from, well, the parent company is called Lush, but this is from Gorilla Perfumes. <clears> it's got the little Lush sticker Ideal there. Ideal for us. So if you live in the UK, you've probably seen Lush shops around a lot. So yeah, if you can't see them, you can smell them down the street. You know, yeah. the, the bath bombs and things are absolutely enormously um, projecting. So this is the hilarious, lots of their fragrances are called hilarious things. Yeah. This, this is called this is Breath end. of God. Um, so again, this is this is pretty cheap, isn't it? Yeah, 39, 40 quid. Yeah, I think so it's, I think it's under 40 quid for, for a 50 ml bottle. Do you want to talk a bit like Let's this? Let's go, yeah. I mean, oh, now, first smell, this, this for me is actually almost indescribable. It's a huge cacophony of things. It's completely things. bizarre. <laughs> it smells like the shop. It just smells like a love yeah. shop. But it's, it's wonderful because we have a combination of things in here. So depending on how it behaves, it's fresh or it's, or it's sort of dirty and, yeah, often and there, musky. Or it's quite clean a lot of, and dirty. There's quite a lot of um, kind of birch in here. Like a lot of birch. A, 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 yeah. Kind of birch tile, which gives this kind of this dirty, and I get a slightly medicinal quality sometimes. Yeah. Through, but there's also grapefruit, which makes it kind of light and fresh. There's grapefruit, there's, there's, there's a sort of melon note, which sometimes mm. is combined with a smoky ham. There's a, there's a bubble yeah, gum ham, aspect. Yeah, like kind of like, like almost a slightly barbecued yeah. meat smell. We're and, not selling it well, but I mean, but really, it is it's delicious, a, it's but wonderful. Incense is a big player in this yeah. as well, I think, especially in the dry down. But the dry down, if you can get a lot of cedar as well, actually. Yeah. I'm just going to spray it. It's, people think this, I know lots of people think this is a bit kind of chaotic. And perhaps it is, but part of the beauty. If you want something which smells like Sauvage, this doesn't smell like Sauvage. No, this is, this is interesting and people being creative. Um, oh, you get so much of the kind of melony grapefruit. Yeah, really, straight really away. Interesting fragrance. Very, very sharp, and, and um, I don't know, it, ha it just has a real edge, doesn't it? But then mm. later on, in a couple of hours, you get this wonderful, creamy, hubba bubba bubblegum yeah. thing. I mean, it's, it's really staggering. It's great, but it's Breath of God. Um, from Lush or Luc Gorilla Luca Turin me mentioned this as one of his five stars in his great perfume guide. Really? One of his five star perfumes. <laughs> I mean, that's because of the inventiveness, you know, yeah. this is what we want. We want creativity, we want people who push the envelope a little bit. There are lots of other interesting fragrances. Um, I've got, Mis uh, is it Mr. President's Hat? President's Hat, Great yeah. President's Hat, which smells like an old school Wonderful. cheaper, a bit like Mitsuku. Anyway, lots of good things. Go there, check them out. But we must move on. So now we're going to move on to things, a really yeah. uh, exciting house. I think you should. You this well, this is a very very special thing. Shazam, from a, a company called 4160 Tuesdays, set up by a wonderful lady called Sarah McCartney, who basically has taken the perfume world by storm. Yeah. I think in the last few years, um, we talked about Ealing Green in our spring video, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. As one of our, our mutual favourites. Um, this is another one of our mutual favourites. Completely favorites. different, though. I'm totally I'm, the opposite. I've end sprayed of the it on my hand to remind myself. It's really, really Let's have a whiff of the like, hand, we, yeah. I really like incense, and this is such a good wow. incense. It's got cedar and amber That's and wonderful. and orange, and and I get. I was saying I get almost oh. this, like sangria quality to it. Yeah, there's something boozy there, isn't there? Yeah. And there's, I get some kind of green herb. I don't know if it's basil or something slightly anisey. I, I definitely get a basil in the opening, and the, t the sort of tangerine freshness. I don't know if that's in there. We've not looked up the notes, but I think yeah. there is some tangerine aspect yeah. or. The really ripe, um, ripe oh, clementine or something. So, but it's so beautiful. It's oh. and she's. I mean, she's so wonderful. She's done woody. so many really, really uh, interesting fragrances. She's she's got quite a sweet oh. tooth. I think a lot of hers. I mean, actually, Ealing Green is interesting. Wow! And when you spray, it, actually, wonderful? I get so much of the cedar and incense. And, and uh, I, f I find it wonderfully invigorating as well. Yeah. It energizes me straight away. It's a sort of winter, autumn, cozy, comforting yeah. thing. But the first thing it does before it wraps you in the duvet is is actually give you a, a shot of adrenaline. I but think. I could wear it on a hot day like this, actually. Yeah, even we're though going it's, to. Even though it's, you know, it's, like it's ambery and I guess there's probably some labdanum as well. Yeah, it feels like there's a labdanum resin going on underneath yeah. to round it out. There's such brightness. In. Anyway, but uh, talking a bit about the house, um, 
she does lots of really, really interesting creative fragrances. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, with lots and lots of interesting uh, names, like, and I think she, yeah, she pushes the she pushes the motor, doesn't she? Yeah. So if you're if you're which is interested in trying her, something which doesn't smell like your everyday cologne, your everyday perfume, you would have something which has got a bit of personality and a bit of character, but is still beautifully made, yeah. well crafted. Check them out and really wonderful. Well, I mean, one of the really great things about it. So let me just. How much is this? So this is sixty for so a this small. This is sixty for fifty ml, which is absolutely staggeringly good value. But, but I would pay three times. The yeah, for, for something yeah. kind of like artisanal, something made kind of independently, it's absolutely incredible. But one of the great things about her is she also does 100 mil, 50 mil, I think 30 mil, 9 mil, yeah. and then she also does little 2 mil samples. So I, I'm sure people watch this video and think, oh, these, these sound really interesting, but I'm not going to go and spend 150 quid. You don't need to. You can, yeah. try, you can try a whole bunch of them. You know, if you, get, if you get the little two mil samples, you can try a whole bunch of them for about fifteen pounds. And, and actually, you get a good overview of, of the line. And she yeah. does workshops with yeah. with people that come in and make their own perfume. I mean, very very interesting. And someone who clearly cares and loves perfumery yeah. and everything about it. It's not just a business. It's not just about making money. It's about it, it's about inspiring other people. Yeah, I mean, for, for anybody who's watched these videos which, and which thought, oh, I always wear the same blah, 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 Chanel or Dior, yeah. I've always worn the same thing. I'd like to try something else, but I'm not sure if I'm you know, brave enough or have enough money, mm. this is such a good company Check them out, to start yeah. with. Get some cheap samples, maybe even go on one of her courses. Yeah. But certainly go and look at her website. She writes loads on it, she blogs. Yeah, it's, she's wonderful. Amazing, amazing woman. So a hero. one amazing female uh, to, person, another. to another yeah. amazing. So in our uh, rose, um, our top nine rose. Which was only uh, quite recent, wasn't it? Yeah, our, our number one was Tobacco Rose by Papillon. And now we have Anubis. Another one. Well, do you want to talk about this? And I'm going to spray it on my hand. Give it a spray. Yeah, so this is this is a wonderful leather, um, oh. and Anub Anubis obviously is the uh, is the Egyptian god of deliciousness. Oh, I'm making that up. That's not historically. I accurate. thought you were the Egyptian god. I'm literally. the Egyptian god of deliciousness. Yeah. But um, this thing is all about those sort of biblical notes. I think so. You have leather. You have incense. You have lots of smoke. And th this instantly takes me. This t takes me to I mean, the look desert. At the, look at the colour of this. Yeah. I mean, oh, you know it's going to be full of amazing, amazing things. Dark and rich. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> prop. That's proper it's, sort of. I mean, oh gosh. Backseat Bentley leather, fifty years yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, with with Very all boozy with as well. all of her fragrances, it's just you're hit in the face by the quality. It's absolutely yeah. extraordinary. The blend is, is sort of seamless straight away. I mean, the leather is so beautiful. Yeah. You kind of get tan leather, you kind of get fresh leather. I kind of get a whole spectrum yeah. of leather. And I think there's saffron in there as well. Definitely, definitely. And there's definitely, I don't know if it's olive animal or, or something like that. There's something kind of resiny, which is kind of- I think later, yeah, later on it really, it's, oh, it sort okay. of really rounds out yeah. with, with the resins. Does she say anything which is in them? Uh, oh, no. so she says suede, frankincense like and saffron. And there's also, yeah, maybe Do I you get, get the some, smoke. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, yeah, definitely get the smoke. But there is also jasmine, so there's a hint of white floral. Yeah, which rounds it off, and it gets, just it gives it out that, that slightly kind of Arab feel. Yeah, but oh. and it's interesting actually because I, I, we should have mentioned the one before as well. Um, Shazam actually takes me to a to a marketplace in the Middle East, and so does yeah, this. Yeah. But this is perhaps more out into the into the desert, the dry, arid air. Yeah. And this is more the market with the fruits and spices. It's interesting, now, now I've got Shazam, all, on, on both hands. Shazam feels very bright. Yeah. Very kind of invigorating. It's very Actually, smiling, isn't the, it? The, the cedar is kind of freshly cut wood yeah. cedar I get, I get from this. Whereas this is, this is darker and, God, you can see, yeah. I don't know if you can see it on my hand, like the level like of, film of, oil. Of, of oil. I mean, it's such kind of high concentration. God, but I just, it's so seamlessly blended, isn't it? She's, I mean, it's her, if you want to try very, 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 very high quality perfume, go to her website immediately. And yeah. she does, again, she does two mil samples. Yeah, which is great. Really nice, and they come in a little card with, with some uh, notes breakdown. So try, certainly this Tobacco Rose and Zalame, Zalame are the, yeah. the three, which really excite me. She's also got a few more, I think she said she's got one. There are more on here. the way, aren't there? So yeah. we're really excited about that. Okay, now, this is the opposite end of the spectrum this again, is isn't the it? opposite. And this, I think this is the first time uh, we've mentioned a fragrance twice. Um, yes. I, I don't know, maybe should apologise for, but I really love no it, apologies. so I'm going to keep banging on no. about it. So this is from Haeckel's. Look at that box, isn't that amazing? So Work the other in itself, isn't it? small bit of news is, so originally you see those coordinates on the front, that was the name. They've now given it a new name, which is 
It's like that hill. So it's now called Pegwell, which is the name of the beach which this location refers to. Look at that beautiful bottle. Um, so all of the fragrances are locations and they refer to seaweed picked from that location which has been used to make the fragrance. Um, this fragrance is really dominated. Oh god. It's we get oh, so good. It's dominated uh, by fennel. And it's this really I'm getting fennel straight away. You get, yeah, you get this fennel. fresh, bright fennel. It's kind of got. Oh. If I say aquatic, it doesn't. Say, it's not 90s aquatic like Aqua di Gio. No, it's it's aquatic like the seaside, like the smell of um, seaweed growing on rocks with a kind of salty mineral. It's that birchy aspect again, isn't it? The the birch and the fennel and juniper and just this big herbaceous round. Beautiful sections. Oh. Is there any sweetness in there as well? I, I get a little. Uh, it's not amber. Well, I, I think, think I don't know if you just get this kind of licoricey kind of sweetness. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. But I, I'm not sure if there's amber It's not sweet as such, no. but there's a, a sort of a little yeah. trail of something behind it. But um, for, for me, this um, on a hot day in, in London like today, this is absolutely incredible. You can't go wrong, can you? Because really? it lasts all day, but it's fresh and it's interesting. <sighs> I just and where are Hakel's based again? So they're based in Margate. Margate. Yes, but you okay. can now buy it. Uh, uh, I think you can buy it in Selfridges. And there are a couple yeah. of um, Fortnum and Mason, a couple of places in London. It's good that they're getting. And they have a, a website which has got some really nice videos about them harvesting the seaweed and things like that. And you can buy samples as well. Yeah, so, it's so important to be able to buy mm. samples. I think we don't we don't stress that enough. But actually, yeah. if you can try something in yeah. a small in a small quantity, yeah, you'd be crazy to to go and spend. This costs one hundred and sixty pounds. People blind buy stuff, don't yeah. they? Yeah. They but, but don't, don't, don't go and buy a sample Trust first this week and get a bunch of samples because you I mean I, I love this and I keep raving about it but there are lots of other great fragrances yeah. so try it okay so another interesting link with the sea the sea I love the sea but the sea it's great so this, I've not seen the sea for a while it's quite a long way away from London there. it's a yeah. bit of it anyway this is from the house of Beaufort very nice um, uh, and this is from uh, a kind of set of is it four or five fragrances called um, yeah. Hell or High Water so this included Tonnier and all, all those So guys. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're often to do with uh, not just sea, but seafaring and ships. So yeah. especially the first fragrance from the, from the mice melt was 1805, oh. which is now called Tonnerre, Tonnerre. Or, or, or something like that. Which Stunning. It smells, I, I, I've never experienced anything quite like it, so it smells like a, a nautical battle. Yeah, is the Battle of Trafalgar? Yeah, um, possibly, I don't know. I'm, it's, it's one of them. Some, some, wonderful. Something yeah. Anyway, and, and they had, uh, they've got birch tar which runs all the way yeah. through, so all the ships would have been lined with birch tar to um, make it waterproof. But there's also limes, because they would have taken limes yeah. to, to ward off scurvy. Um, there's also gunpowder and gun smoke powder. and blood. fire and blood. There's an amazing who ha- blood Who has blood notes in fragrance? Um, anyway, so this, this is not wonderful. that. So this is one of their old bottles. The, the bottles are now black and very elegant. This is nice as well. This is called Cœur de Noir, Heart of, uh, of black, black, or heart. Ha- ha- yeah. a Heart of Darkness, if you like. Um, so this is inspired by a writing desk within ah. the ship. So <laughs> having, having had it something you, bright and summery, this is the absolute... This is one of the darkest, kind of heaviest, I mean, God, smell that. You get this yeah. huge waft. Wow. Loads and loads wow, and loads, wow, of, wow. loads of birch tar. Oh, it God. It smells dangerous. It smells like you've gone in a room you shouldn't have gone yeah. in. You shouldn't be allowed in this room. It smells. Absolutely. Like, so it's this writing desk with this old wood, um, birch tar wow. all around you. Is there papyrus in there? Or is it well, there's, there's, definitely, there's, there's an inkiness. Yeah. Yeah. I get a definite association with a big old book. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, these, these ancient nautical volumes, you can really kind of really oh, heavy yeah. tomes being opened with kind of fresh ink, maybe being spilled on the page. There's also leather of you know you're being sat in a leather armchair. Mm, but absolutely, it's I mean they're such a creative house. So they've oh, also uh, uh, um, one of their most recent I think is the Iron Duke, which yes. is based on the Duke Wonderful. of Wellington. So again, you've got some nautical references. Um, there's also there's the kind of politician side of him. I um, don't know if he's a politician, but the, the side of him away from the sea where you smell cognac and rum and leather yeah. and so you think of you think of him being kind of a statesman. Yeah. Um, such an interesting house. Full fathom with yeah, that yeah. wonderful biscuity quality. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, really and then lignum vitae, which is very, very green. Yeah. Um, that's wonderful. I mean, that's, if you want a, something oh. really creative, really artistic, I would certainly say try 1805. Try them, all of them. Yeah, uh, uh, Tonnerre, whatever it's called now. But I mean, yeah, shut your eyes. Try eighteen oh five. Let it transport you. Yeah, I mean, you're you're in the back of Trafalgar. It's a real, it's a real vivid olfactory experience. But don't get scared. Okay, it's not real. Um, 
Fantastic. So the na last one we've got for you is from the house of Galavant. Um, so this is a company set up by, what is his name? I tried to, Nick Stewart, Nick Stewart. who used to work for Light Sand Parfumer and set up a company um, where he wanted, so we often talk about how perfume transports you to a place. Yeah. So he's taken that quite literally as a kind of snapshot. So this is a fragrance called Brooklyn. Brooklyn. He's also uh, nice. done uh, Istanbul, New yeah. York. Um, Tel Aviv. Not New York, uh, London, Tel Aviv. Um, now this is, in terms of uh, perfumery, there are two really common notes, which I don't really like. I don't really like, I'm not very keen on lemon or, or a lot of citruses, mm. and I sometimes find it difficult to get on with white florals. Yeah. So this is a citrus and white floral fra fragrance. I do. Which I, but I absolutely love it. And it's just an example of when something's done really, really well, it just mm. surpasses. I think my problem with lemon is I think of toilet cleaner and things like that. Yeah. Oh, but I think guess what, what helps this? So the, the white florals are very, very, very creamy in this. Oh, but it's also the benzoin, which yeah. gives it that, that creaminess. And it gives uh, it legs, doesn't it, for a citrus. It actually gives it some, yeah. some depth. Oh, it's it's so, so good for a summer's day. It's almost, it's very good for a summer's day. It's almost better for a hot summer's evening. Mm. You know, maybe you, 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 you've, just, you've just, um, you just had a shower, you're about to go out, maybe eat outside. Lovely. It's Let's amazing that it's, it's, it's citrus fragrance which feels so sensual. It's also got a kind of fizziness and a kind of energy yeah. to it as well. I mean, I was saying to Joe, I, I associate vibrant. this with um, when we went to see the perfume exhibition in Somerset House uh, last summer. I just bought you this, bought this didn't you? Yeah. and we went to the exhibition, obviously smelled loads, our nose were completely blown out, so we had a few kind of medicinal Negronis outside uh, in, in the bar essential. just to kind of restore ourselves. And then I had this, so we sprayed it a bit. So oh, I, I yeah. now really associate it with I love it. being in the it. sunshine, drinking Negroni, by the Thames. Oh, it's really, it's really vigorous. It's such a high quality fragrance. It's so creamy as well. You know, a citrus with no sharp edges no, at all. Just very absolutely round. Yeah. So, wow. really, really pretty little 30ml um, bottle. His idea being that he wants to, his idea is about cities and travel and going places. So they're all bottles you can take with you and travel. I think this is about 65 pounds. Very good. Um, so not, yeah. not, I mean, you're only, you don't get a huge amount of it, but it goes a long way, so it's worth yeah. getting. They do sample packs. They also do a discovery pack where you can buy samples. Um, They're all lined up. Of, of that's very nice. yeah. I mean, London is another one. Which it, yeah. it was when I got the sample pack. It was either going to be this or London. London is completely different. Dusty it's leather, it's um, leather jacket mm -hmm. and rose, and there's a bit of kind of petrol and it's oil. Lovely. and yeah. completely different feel. Um, lots well, of that's a stunner. I think that's lots a real of kind winner. of really exciting things have come all the way from Floris, an old school um, company, to to yeah. Gallant, who was set up last year. And l these are all especially. 462 Tuesdays, Papillon, Beaufort, and Gallivant. They're, they're companies that I'm really, whenever they're bringing something out, I want to yeah, know what it is. Absolutely. I want to find absolutely. out about it. It's, it's the most exciting, creative, high quality fragrance making in the world. And to, you know, to see that this, you know, sort of this stage in the perfume journey, that stuff like this is still being made, I think is really exciting. Yeah, and the a lot of companies are not doing it. And they're the just boundaries being are safe, being pushed. Safe. Yeah, and yeah. We, we feel often feel quite sad about a company like Gela, who we love so much. Yeah. Most of our fra fragrances are, are from, you know, the heyday of Jacques Gela yeah. and Jean-Paul Gela. And then we feel sad when we see what's happening at the moment and yeah. everything is being turned out. It's celebrity endorsements. Celebrity, it's, which I know it's, it's understand it, yeah. uh, You just feel like they just want to make money and they're not interested in fragrance at all. And it's Where's great to have people, I mean, I know all these people need to make money, but they're just interested in making really, really, yeah. really good smells. They do it with the quality of what they're doing. It, and it, it's like a chef trusts his ingredients. Yeah. Great perfumers like Sarah McCartney and Liz Moores, they, you know, yeah. they, they know that what they've made is, is stunning because they put the care and the love and the time in. I've just got to mention and this, this is what happens. This is, this is what's on my left hand at the moment. And it's just, oh, it's so opulent, yeah. isn't it? Wonderful. Anyway, we've been banging on for long enough. So we're British gonna, houses. Yeah, British houses. Check them out. We'll put links uh, underneath. Yeah, uh, you can um, see what they are. So go and click on them, go and try them. Especially all the samples, they're really, really cheap. You've got no Get excuse, them. go and try them. Don't wear them all at the same time because they're all special. They each need a day, well, I think. A big wheel on sometimes. Nice, well, that's nice, that's, well, you should smell the organ off. But anyway, go and try them. Until next time. Happy sniffing! Bye.